Hello, my name is Sebastian Jaya, co-founder of Oil Food Basics, and this is Eric Craig, also co-founder. We're here today to discuss with you the different types of petroleum engineers and the career of petroleum engineering in general. And so there's four main subtypes of petroleum engineers. The first is reservoir, the second is drilling, third is production, and the fourth is completions. These are all engineering titles, and we'll go more in depth with each. So Derek, do you want to take the reservoir engineers? Yeah, so basically reservoir, um, they're basically given a basin to look at. They're going to be doing some characteristics, um, analyzing the characteristics of the reservoir, trying to figure out um, what kind of permeability porosity they, they're responsible for overseeing a bunch of testing on the reservoir to basically figure out uh, its limits, how much of oil and gas is down there, what are the typical productions we expect to see, and they're also going to be responsible for determining the decline of the wells. So trying to help more so with the financial forecasting of what types of return on investments uh, that a company would see if they were to exploit that particular formation or that particular area. So they're, they're more so, uh, they'll be a lot in the office um, working with computer simulations and models. Um, they'll maybe get out every now and then to take a few tests on the wells, um, try and get information as much as they can. So basically they're the gatherers and uh, sorters of the information and basically trying to characterize the reservoir and what the company should do going forward. Yeah. And so secondly, with drilling engineers, uh, drilling engineers are the ones overseeing the entire drilling operation. And so they're the ones responsible for drilling the well, making sure it's done on time, it's done safely, um, and within the AFE, which is the authority for expenditure. And so it's basically the budget uh, for the well. And so drilling engineers, like I said, uh, have to make sure that the well is done safely. And um, they plan the wells ahead of time in software. Um, and they also design the casing plans to make sure that everything when drilled and cased um, will be planned and executed as planned. So that's the main um, main thing that drilling engineers do. Uh, drilling engineers will spend more, most of the time in the field, but also in the office. Um, depends on your company. Um, some companies may send a drilling engineer on location for two weeks and then give them a two-week break. Um, it really depends on the company, but like I said, they'll be out in the field a lot more than than reservoir engineers. And some companies have uh, what we call company men. That'll be a whole other video on its own, but essentially mm -hmm. some companies hire people to actually be the responsible party for that company on location to oversee the drilling operation. So a lot of times, and this depends on the company, as Sebastian said, a lot of times the drilling engineer is more so the one who's planning the well and determining the details, and then he hands that over to the contractors to then execute it. Mm -hmm. Do you want to take completion engineers? Yeah, so com completions. Basically, so once the well is drilled, um, it's then up to the completions team and completions engineer to basically come up with the, the planning and everything, all the steps that need to be done to bring that well into production, to get it capable of production. So a lot of times, um, especially now in, in the shale plays and shale bases, Utica, Marcellus, um, Eagleford, all over the U.S., the shale plays, a lot of times those are horizontal wells. And so the rig is leaving a horizontal well that is cased and cemented. So basically, there's, you know, it's, it's case and, and there's cement all around the casing, so there's no way of really producing it. So the completions engineer is then responsible for making that well be able to produce. And so typically, um, and again in the shale plays, this consists of hydraulic fracturing. So the completions engineer is going to be the one who oversees, oversees the design, um, determining what's, what's best for that well, what's going to help it to produce the best. Um, and a lot of that is going to be economics as well. So. It, you might get a ton more production if you, you know, do a lot tighter spacing and a much bigger frack job and you're going to stimulate the rock a whole lot more, but what is economical? Is it going to pay off for you? So that's a lot of the completions engineer uh, and their role. So, And they do, again, it's kind of a mix of field versus office and that depends on the company. Um, it really just depends on the company on that. And they also have company men who oversee the operations, the actual hydraulic fracturing process, but they are the ones who are doing the design. They're looking at you know what designs in the past work best and what designs are we going to carry forth with in the future. Yeah, great explanation. <laughs> and so next is production engineers. And production engineers are the ones basically responsible with the well after completions is completed. And so once the well's been fracked and the well's been put into flow back to return some of that sand and uh, plug parts and other um, debris in the well to ensure the well's clean, then production engineers are the ones in charge. Um, they basically oversee the wells, um, basically a large field of wells, most oftenly, um, to ensure that they're producing um, as, as requested by mainly the reservoir engineers. They decide um, how, how to 
much soap in the well and whatnot. And they kind of decide how much they think the well is capable of. Yeah. And the production engineers are the ones who help execute it. And so basically the production engineer is when you are the ones finally making the company money. Everybody else is spending it. Uh, so the production engineer, they have a, a huge job. They try to make sure that the well is produced as economically as possible and at the highest rates as possible. So ultimately driving profit for the company. And then once the well starts to decline and, you know, with dry gas wells, you'll hit the critical gas rate. And so the wells start to get loaded. Um, at that point, then they start looking into artificial lift, um, mm -hmm. which is an aspect that production engineers have to be really yeah. proficient in. So that'll keep production up and keep generating the company money. So basically keeping the well producing as long as they can. Yeah. And, and that, that'll be a whole other video on its own on artificial mm -hmm. lift. That's a huge topic. But there's a lot of challenges when it comes to producing a well. And they are responsible for overseeing it. And they'll be in the field a good bit, too. It, again, depends on the company, the size of the company. But they'll go out and take some tests, too, and uh, help oversee the, the pumpers, the people who are actually taking care of the well uh, physically uh, by their hands every single day. So, And also, all these engineers, too, um, the completions and, and drilling and production, are responsible for selecting products and working with contractors, um, not only develop the plans, but also what parts and what uh, tools and devices they're going to use in the well and what's economical and what's the best uh, decision for them. Yeah. And so, as aspiring patrol engineers, we wish we knew this information coming to college. Um, it's information that's hard to find online and all these little details of what to expect, of what these engineers are doing current day. And so what we've talked, we talked with all these engineers in person and um, been there with them. And so we've, we hope to share our experiences and knowledge with you on what you can expect if you're considering patrol engineering or if you're a patrol engineering student currently. or okay. And now you've got some information to potentially, if you're looking at a company, possibly working for an operator in the future, now you've got some questions to ask them, see how their roles differ. Production mm -hmm. engineer at a smaller company is going to be, have some different roles than one in a larger company. Mm -hmm. And also within these categories that we talked about today, there's like subcategories. So production, you might have a facilities engineer. They might be a production or a petroleum engineer. They might not be. They might not have had that degree, but they kind of specialize in the facilities, you know, the, the equipment that is used to produce the well, as opposed to more so the, the well's um, yeah. features and, and its um, properties uh, downhole. So there's a lot of different focuses that you can get, and that differs from company to company. But these are the, the four main categories. Mm -hmm. And yeah. So thanks for queuing in, and we'll see you in the next one. Yeah, thank you.